Hello again and welcome to Money Mentor channel where today we're going to look at Flutter Entertainment share price forecast. So Flutter Entertainment, for those who don't know, is effectively a gambling or a betting uh, business. Um, it's got a pretty poor stock rank at the moment of 28 on Stockopedia um, and all its metrics, quality, value and momentum are incredibly poor. So at first glance here, nothing to write home about. Um, the business is in the FTSE 100, the UK FTSE, with a market cap of just under 20 billion and an enterprise value of 22 billion. So it's carrying about two billion pounds of debt. It's uh, got a revenue of 5.9 billion. And as you can see, it's not really had a particularly um, positive year. So it started the year at what looks like uh, 15 and a half pounds. Uh, and it's finished the year at 11.27, so a downward trend there. Historically, um, it had a positive, it's had a positive couple of years up to here, but actually, ever since the start of this year, beginning of this year, it's uh, it's trended pretty much ups and downs. But overall, it's gone down. So, unsurprisingly, the momentum and relative strength is negative in all areas. We're well below the 52-week high. We're 42% below the 52-week high, so it's effectively halved. Uh, dividend yield, we've got no dividend yield, so it's not a dividend payer by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and the return on capital and return on equity is actually showing green there, but I wouldn't believe that. I couldn't imagine that is green for real with those uh, those percentages and the operating margin of 3.33%. So very, very low margins here, um, similar margins to what you'd get in supermarkets, Tesco's um, and uh, Morrison's will give those Health trend F score four isn't particularly impressive, to be honest. The health trend F score is usually somewhere uh, up here in the greens. Don't take uh, much notice of the Z score because it uses odd metrics, in my opinion. Um, what we can see though is revenues actually uh, increased considerably. So significant increase in 2020. I don't know whether that was because the COVID pandemic led everybody to decide they'd take, take up online gambling because there wasn't much else to do. But they're actually continuing that forecast for um, not only the trailing 12 months, but actually the full year 2021 and also 2022 estimate is also going to be a bit higher. But if we actually have a look at the operating profit, not a lot of profits really come from these uh, these businesses. Uh, maybe they spend an awful lot of money on advertising. So those margins are, are very, very tight. Uh, we already know that there's no dividend to be paid. So the dividend's pretty much um, blank for the coming, although they say they're going to pay a dividend of 1.6% in 2022, but nothing for 20 or 21 by the looks of it. Just coming down here to the debt pile, we can see they do have debt. So they've picked up some debt in 2020 um, and this year. So they've got two and a half billion pounds of debt sitting on their books. Um, they've actually, number of shares, so they've also issued more shares recently as well. So they've got to, 140 million shares compared to 133 million earlier uh, in the year. 20 brokers are covering it, so it's fairly well covered by uh, the majority of the brokers. And again, we can see it's just nudged up slightly um, from where it was three months ago. So it's now, uh, it's now again, it's a you know, it's a buy. It's definitely a buy um, according to them. I personally wouldn't uh, buy it. I don't think at the moment. Um, they do say there's 45% upside, so they think it's going to get back to the original price. Um, back in its heyday so they think it's going to get probably up to about uh where's that about 16 1700 from where it is now um but uh i don't know so the brokers are saying it's got 45 percent upside um stockopedia rank is saying it's pretty pretty poor at the moment but what do you think do you hold stockopedia uh, do you hold uh, flutter entertainment at the moment um certainly not as a dividend payer but um do you think there's capital growth going forward do let us know what you think in the comments box as always um and if you're not a subscriber please hit the subscribe button thank you